All right, guys, thank you very much for coming in today. My name is Vijaya here. Now, today's session is about um, meals, how you prepare your meals, how to make your meals preparation easy. If you have completed the, the prep that we went through on Saturday, then it will be easy for you to do your work today. All right, so let's go through a few uh, ideas, shares, and uh, details. What I'll do, I'll do one or two vegetarian, Bedi will do one or two non-veg, so we can just combine our ideas and then we can see uh, which one suits you best. Now, let's work with our breakfast first. So what's the best way to get your breakfast out there? Uh, simple and easy way. Now, for vegetarian and non-vegetarian, both uh, egg is a common uh, breakfast. So you can, uh, most of the time, uh, vegetarian day, uh, vegetarian and non-vegetarian applies for both. You can go for one egg and 100 grams of mushroom, just saute the mushroom and then uh, put some seasoning, saute in a non-stick pan and then just uh, break an egg on it and then just uh, stir fry a bit and take it out. Very simple, easy. Uh, if your meals uh, says raw mushroom, it does not mean that you're eating raw mushroom. You still need to cook and eat. Yeah, A lot of customers get confused with that. Uh, saying raw mushroom, they, they usually think, uh, do I need to eat raw mushroom? No, you need to cook your mushroom and eat. All right. So that's one way of breakfast. Uh, mushroom and egg. All right. Or you go for two eggs. Now, how do you make your eggs? Um, you can actually uh, poach your egg, boil your egg, uh, do a normal non-stick pan egg. Uh, some people, what they do is they make egg muffin as well. So you can do uh, muffins. Uh, uh, if you have the muffin tray that you can use in oven, just beat your egg, put a bit of baby spinach, just pour into it and it's nice. Now, another way of doing egg is uh, some people, they use the um, freezer, uh, like egg beater. All right, so it become like a cloud egg. All right, and that's another very, really, very nice uh, way of uh, doing egg. But it takes a bit more effort and everything. Now, if you want simple and fast, non-stick pan, just put the eggs, just double fry, uh, uh, flip it, and done. Or boil your egg, and you are done. Or you poach your egg. Very fast, very simple. All right, that's your egg part. Now let's go to a vegetarian. You've uh, okay, non veg also. You can have like a small, uh, like 70 grams patty, or one of the patty. Remember, uh, on Saturday we explained about how you can actually have uh, make uh, 50 gram, 50 gram patty, one of those patty, and one egg. You can have that kind of uh, breakfast as well, or um, uh, any of the other proteins, one egg with any of the other protein. Mushroom is 100 gram. Uh, uh, Kamal, 100 gram is enough. All right, so um, so you can have uh, egg with any of the proteins in your list. All right, it can be 70 grams of any other protein with one egg, or just go for two eggs. All right, so that's breakfast. Now uh, on a vegetarian side, you can also go for yogurt, 125 grams of yogurt with four strawberries. All right, that can be an easy uh, carry away kind of uh, breakfast that you can do. Straight put your Greek yogurt and cut four strawberries and you're done. You just take that and you can eat that straight out of it. All right, if you want a bit of a sweet uh, kind of yogurt, put a bit of stevia, that's done. And then, uh, or some people, they like it a bit salty, they put a bit salt, whichever you like. Some people, they use cucumber instead of strawberry, uh, Greek yogurt, Rubina. Uh, get Greek, light Greek yogurt if preferable. All right. So some people likes a bit salty uh, with their yogurt rather than sweet. So what they do is they cut cucumber, they put yogurt and a bit of salt and that can be one breakfast. All right. Uh, Bezi, do you have any other breakfast ideas you want to share other than the one that I've mentioned? Oh, yeah. Like uh, some people would uh, love to have cottage cheese instead of yogurt. Um, yes you to cover up the protein part and then yeah. you can always have cottage cheese with either blueberries because i love blueberries myself yeah. so if you love blueberries instead of strawberries you can also have that yeah. and for the non ways um you know, if you are in a hurry like you don't even have time to make prepare your breakfast instead of keeping it you can always carry tuna like tin tuna and then uh, some bit of like uh, cucumber as well like but don't skip it eat yeah. eat your breakfast it's really important that's right 
Yeah. That's right. So Those that are like easy going, quick one. Yes. So that's the breakfast part. So you guys just make sure that something is taken in the morning and it is a very important meal of the day. So you must make sure you're eating your breakfast. No, no, there is no two ways about uh, missing your breakfast. All right. The program, uh, just, just take our word for it, guys. The program will not work for you successfully if you skip any meals. No meals must be, uh, uh, you, you cannot miss any meals. End of story. All right. Now that is breakfast. Any questions, anything that else you all want to ask when it comes to breakfast? Can you eat apple in the morning? Um, you can eat apple, but then that's going to take away your fruit. So, so just taking an apple, it's not going to give you that protein you need in the morning. So you need either, uh, if you're a vegetarian, you can also take tofu in the morning, tofu and a bit of a vegetable stir fry, mush, tofu and mushroom also is fine. All right. But don't, you need to have some protein in the morning. So if you're just taking apple, it's not going to be a protein. All right. So that's why even when we give that yogurt uh, and strawberry, we've got that yogurt as a protein for you. All right, must take protein in the morning. So take one of these options that we have just mentioned. Now, uh, let's go to, if there's no further question for breakfast. So you guys written down whatever you can try with breakfast. Any questions? No questions? We move forward to lunch. I just wanted to add oh, Sorry, Arby, you go. Yeah, Uri, I'll take one oh, question. So, we, uh, I, I'm not sure, but can we have Yopro yogurt in the morning as a breakfast? Yes. No. Yes, you can. Yopro, Greek, Quark. These are three types of yogurt you can go for. Yopro is like a one tub of Yopro yogurt? Uh, the Yopro yogurt is the natural one. Uh, okay, not like a small tub we get it. No, you can get the small tub, but you just need to check you the brand. Okay. All right. So, but just the not flavor, just the normal one, right? Yes, no flavors one, not even the vanilla one. Okay, okay, awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, just a plain one, plain natural. They've got the natural one. Okay. Abedi, you wanted to add something? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I have, I have got these questions a lot. When they're eating that tin tuna, tin salmon, make sure you don't take all this. It has to be water based. Brine, it's called uh, brine, so it's brine, not the olive oil one. A gram of uh, yogurt is 125 gram. Okay, let's move to lunch now. So let's go. Uh, uh, Bunny, yes. Yes, Bunny. Um, just want to ask Vijaya that uh, if we're eating egg and... Uh, like any other protein with the egg. So there is no need of vegetable in the breakfast? So you don't need to actually, uh, uh, basically the program does not specify any vegetable, but having uh, adding something like, for example, if I'm making egg, I would add egg with a bit of baby spinach. I'll just big okay. two eggs and baby spinach. It gives me a big portion of the uh, meal. Okay. It, it fills me up really nice in the morning. So throughout, uh, if I'm working, I don't feel that need to snack in between. Because so, my stomach is full. Okay. So and if you want to add some vegetable like that, it's good. Even even cabbage, you can shred cabbage. And can, you can add to the egg. It's really very nice. Okay. And it, it, breakfast should be at 7 o'clock, right? Breakfast should be what? 7 o'clock. Uh, not necessary. It all depends on your lifestyle. But what is important is your dinner must be between your dinner and your sleeping time need to be at least three hours. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. from the time you see, you, some people, they wake up very early, they go to work. So their time differs from those who are at home and they can wake up a bit late. So yeah. you don't need to specifically have it at seven o'clock. But what is important is you have uh, taken all three meals throughout the day with a good gap in between. Plus, from the time you took dinner and the time you're sleeping, you have got three hours in between. Plus you are, you, whatever late time you're sleeping, you're still giving eight hours of sleep for the day. Okay. Like what Bedi mentioned yesterday uh, on Saturday, yes. that sleep is very important. You need to give that eight hours sleep. Okay, thank you. All right, okay. Any other question before we move on? Bedi, anything else you need to add in? Uh, no, I think that's all. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Let's move. Uh, 
let's move to uh, our lunch now. So let's lunch, let's go through, I'm going to just share my screen and we will go through what are the, um, uh, what are the grocery we have given to you guys and let's try to create a lunch based on that, okay? Uh, you probably would have already done all this for today, but uh, let's just see what we can do here. Okay, so I'm just in the group here and I'm just going to share my screen and we're going to run through some recipes that we can do. Um, okay. Okay, can you all see my screen? Bethy, is it okay? Yeah, yeah. it's coming. Right. So here... So let's look at our grocery first, and then I'll bring you to the recipe group where how you find it. Uh, where's our grocery? It's not there, but your screen is coming. Uh, it says has it started. It's not started. No, no. It says it has started, but there wasn't not anything like you know. Okay, how about now? Yeah. Now better. Yeah. Okay, so here I'm going to make sure that I've got the grocery list here. Now what I'm going to do is this grocery list. I'll just pin the post for you guys. So it's <clears throat> on the top. <coughs> okay, this is the one. Okay, let's go through this. Now let's work on the vegetarian first. All right, now you've got paneer, tofu, halami. Let's say today is your paneer day. Okay, so kalachana and moong. Uh, moong, I've told you guys to sprout it and keep. All right, so today you must have soaked your moong and put it aside for it to sprout. Okay, so moong sprouting you do now today. Now kalachana, it can be whatever way. You're just going to take one meal only for this week. All right. So let's work on paneer. Let's say today you're going to cook one meal, and that one meal is going to be lunch and dinner, both paneer. Okay. Now let's look at vegetable list that you've given to you. So spinach goes very well with paneer. You all know. So let's take about 500 grams of spinach. 200 grams of paneer and see what we can do with it. Now, you guys know that is a very easy recipe. Uh, you can cook with that. So let, let's go to the vegetarian recipe and look for paneer. What can we do with paneer? I go, all I did was I searched, use the search button and I, and I search for paneer. Now, these are some of the, uh, um, some of the uh, recipes that you can use. Now look at this, this, see, not all recipes are correct. Why I say that, you see, this one has the uh, masoor dal, but it also has paneer stuffing. That means she's using two proteins. I don't want you to do that. You need to, you see, our program is all based on, uh, um, what is this, uh, mono eating. So we want to make sure there is one protein and one vegetable, all right? So can you mention the stages as well, Bijaya? Huh? Can you please just mention the stages for the one protein? Thanks. One protein and one vegetable is stage one, stage two. That's what the 30 days program we are doing. So uh, stage one, stage two, uh, you are, you're following uh, one protein, one vegetable. All right. So let's say, look at this cauliflower and paneer manchurian. So this is a, some easy recipe here. But hey, if you find uh, this one, simplify it. So basically she took cauliflower, she took paneer. All right mix it together and you're just cooking it. So you just follow the recipe given here. Don't overdo your cooking. Salt and uh, salt, ginger. Okay, ginger and garlic, what you do? Put it together in a blender, blend it and put it in an ice cube tray. You all have ice cube tray, put it there. So whenever you need, you just take one ice cube, put it in a nonstick pan. You've got ginger garlic already fresh. All right, so keep it like that. All right, so these are how you look for recipes. Now, simplify your cooking as much as possible. Don't try to go and do very fancy, fancy cooking uh, because it's going to take a lot of time. It will take a lot of time, all right? So for example, paneer stuffed mushroom, all right? So this is easy. So she just basically, uh, mushroom is here, paneer is here. Paneer, she just mashed it. She put some masala and everything. Mushroom, she 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 probably dig the middle one, the button, and then stuff it in and she baked it. All right, so easy way to do it. Look at that cauliflower and uh, this is uh, paneer also. Uh, very simple, easy, and with the mint chutney dip. 
all right so how do you get your recipe very simple when you go to this recipe group you see this bar here search bar you go and search here let's say you want to cook something with spinach but you don't know how to do it go and type spinach and you will get all the recipes that was ever done using spinach all right any questions about the vegetarian one before i go to one non veg anyone you guys good let's try the non veg now non veg let's say if i want to chick, uh, cook chicken today so what can i do chicken and what i have chicken and cauliflower well, let's say this is what uh, chicken cauliflower so look for something that can uh, complement chicken cauliflower look at all these recipes just grilled chicken with cauliflower rice simple meal all right you take two vegetable one protein and one vegetable just two ingredient just put it there and do it this is make curry uh, chicken and cauliflower curry how did this lady did that so just check check through the recipes simple recipes and how you do that all right this is chicken and cauliflower uh, patty kind of thing all right so they've done a lot of uh, chicken patty and then cauliflower rice simple remember the patty you've got it ready so all you need to do is just stir fry the cauliflower rice that's it and your patty you just microwave for one uh, 30 second and it's already hot and spicy for you look at this curry uh, chicken curry with uh, cauliflower rice it feels like we're eating rice only so all this so how do you do again very simple you just search in that bar and then it, it will bring you to wherever you need you you need whatever you need this bar here all right um okay and then we've got one for indian let's say in a vegetarian you you want to do kalachana uh, what you what you can do with kalachana all right so you go here you i put here chana and then i'll see what recipes has been done using chana all right so all these are recipes look at this this one does make this so how he made was he uh, grind uh, kalachana using the dry grind grinder, shift the flour, and then he put it in a daba and keep. All right. And then when he's cooking, he will make the dough like this. See, this is the dough he made. All right. He keep it overnight sometimes, or he keep it for a few hours if he didn't get, uh, put it. Because the kalachana need to expand because it was dry grind, right? So it need to expand. It need to become soft a bit. So you leave it, you make the dough, you leave it. And then he made a patty like this. So he used uh, this kind of plastic. So the patty comes nice, all right? So it doesn't stick. And then this is how he made the roti. All right, this is after he did the grinding. So very nice and simple. If you want to do this, you can do this also. All right, uh, there are a few other recipes for chana. Uh, and people can make dosa also with kalachana. So what do you do? You blend, uh, uh, soak your kalachana first and then uh, blend it. After soaking, you blend it and then you can put whatever seasoning you want and then you can do a dosa. And then she, this person has made it with um, cauliflower sabji. All right, she made cauliflower. You can make spicy cauliflower one time. This is like masala dosa already now, but with cauliflower. That's amazing. That's a beautiful meal. You guys can try this with the car. Even with the moong, uh, moong sprout that you're making, you can do the same thing. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to pass now to Bedi and Bedi can run through a few recipes. Okay. Well. Thanks, Vijay. So I'll be just showing some pictures instead of going to the Facebook. <clears throat> so let me share my screen. It's very simple, like um, try to make it very simple recipes instead of like complicated one. So that will make our life easier and then you can do it in more like sustainable way. Okay, so my favorite is always salmon, as you can yeah. see. 
So how I make my salmon is like, I either use it my non-stick pan or the air fryer. So if I'm using the non-stick pan, what I do is I usually put the salmon there and then uh, make sure it's um, like, you know, brown on both sides. And what I do is I put that salmon on the side of the pan, then I throw my vegetables, whichever I'm choosing. So in here, as you can see in the picture, I have uh, used some asparagus. So asparagus can be cooked and sauteed with the fat of salmon itself. Mm. you don't even need any oil and just to uh, give it a bit of smoky flavor uh, i just add uh, some drops of uh, tamari sauce which is organic sauce so and then sprinkle some uh, pepper and salt and it's done so if you want to add flavor some people might love flavor of like garlic ginger and you know other things as well so you can also add those stuff like coriander or other herbs but for me with salmon uh, it just tastes good for me like you know as it is as natural way and I just squeeze some uh, lemon or lime at the end, and that's how I eat. So the other way you can do is uh, you can put the salmon, like you can uh, marinate the salmon. You don't need much. Don't use like cumin or coriander in salmon. It doesn't taste good for me, or you can try. It just tastes natural, like, you know, uh, I mean, it tastes better natural way. So what you can do is uh, you can either put the baking paper on the um, air fryer inside or just put it there uh, itself. So it gets air fried properly from all around the like, you know, on, on the four, four sides of the salmon. So once you see the salmon is well cooked, you can uh, steam your vegetable. And then after steaming, if you want to eat just as a steam that's fine otherwise you can um, just make it be stir fry using the tamari sauce again as your choice and your choice of flavor so you can use anything you want for your flavor because for asparagus you might not want to use uh, much of the flavor but then if you are choosing like some different vegetables then of course you can choose some flavors but for this one it's really simple just as i mentioned i made this one on the pan Okay, so salt and pepper go. also really very nice with something. Yeah, salt and pepper goes really well with this kind of food. So here, so this is chicken and uh, broccolini. So what I did was I just had my chicken measured and then I put it in the pan and then I just um, stir fry for a bit. And once the water was all uh, you know gone, then I added some tamari sauce on the top uh, to give a color and also some flavor. And then um, I just added some pepper and salt, like Himalayan salt, and I just took it off. So once I uh, chicken is out, I threw the broccolini on the same pan. And then the broccolini was half steam on the side already. So that's how I make my um, vegetable. So I threw on the pan for that smoky flavor again, because um, we don't want to eat bland food for 30 days, of course. So we yeah. just want to add some taste on there. So, and then I threw my broccolini there, as you can see here. And uh, so what I did was I put some coriander on the top after I took everything out and then, yeah. So that's how I ate. It's really simple. You don't even see any like garlic or ginger there. And it tastes so good. Like I can eat. Yeah, simple food is the best. <laughs> yeah. So the next one, so you can see this one looks like using lots of oil, but it doesn't have even a drop of oil. This is a programmed food. So how I made this one, this is like chicken, I mean, slam. So with the mince slam, what you can do is uh, fry your mince, I mean, first. So you, you all know that how water comes out from that uh, means as well, and especially with the lamb. So once you get rid of that water from the lamb, it, it starts to get fried. So before it's too fried, you can throw the zucchini or like, like right here, I have your zucchini. So you, th you throw that zucchini uh, together with that lamb and then it start to stir fry a bit. And what I used was I used a tiny bit of onion and then I used like two cherry tomatoes just for a flavor. And then I think I also used a um, bit of uh, crossed ginger and uh, garlic because this is different food than the other one that I just showed previously. So we can, um, the garlic, ginger, uh, those kind of taste goes really well with lamb and zucchini. So as you can see, this looks so yummy and it was really yummy too. So uh, you can just make that way. And let me see what I have. So this is another very simple yet delicious so you can use your prawns if you are a prawns lover. It's called shrimps in USA and Canada, but in Australia we call prawns. And uh, for prawns, make sure. For me, I don't like the taste when it's in the air fryer, to be honest. 
So I usually uh, make my prawns on non-stick pan. So what I do is uh, if you have a frozen prawns, make sure you uh, run some like warm water on the tap just with the strainer, just put your frozen prawns in the strainer and then run some, run that warm water for a bit. So once your prawns are okay, like, you know, you can throw them on the pan again, same way that I did with salmon, just throw it there, put some spices because prawn doesn't taste good without any spice. So just th throw some spices there. Your choice of spice doesn't have to be like particularly like salt or paper. If you want to add some kimim, like, you know, even garam masala, depending on if you are like a curry lover, then most probably you would love to have those kind of flavor. So after your prawn starts to get a bit like, you know, brown, golden, then you can add your uh, broccoli, as you can see here, if you are using broccoli, and then that uh, together, you can start to stir fry with a bit of tamari sauce. That's why the tamari sauce is really important. If you don't have, just get it one. It will be very handy for your stir fry and saute kind of recipes. And at the end, you can squeeze the lemon and that's it's done. Let me see if I have another one. So this is, I think, one of the main dishes she made. So what, how she made this one is uh, she marinate, marinated her chicken with uh, some spices, a uh, very tiny bit of spices, as you can see. So she put that chicken in the air fryer and she made her uh, broccoli on the side as a steam. So it's really simple. And then she garnished with a bit of onion uh, salads. Yeah, like here, as, as we can see. Any vegetarian one, baby? Oh, you want vegetarian? Yeah. I only brought some uh, non veg here, but I do That's have fine. some vegetarian. Yeah. Let me go through some more pictures of the non veg mm, So this one, uh, yeah, this one is vegetarian. So this is cauliflower rice. So this one is like a biryani, I guess. So someone had like a made biryani, like cauliflower biryani. So you can also make cauliflower biryani. There is a recipe. We will, I will share that uh, cauliflower biryani recipe in the group later on. And this is just the spinach. Yeah. Let me see. So this is cauliflower rice again with chicken or fish. This is fish, cauliflower with fish. So let me show you some more fish recipe. So fish, the same way as salmon, like, you know, you can garnish, put it in the air fryer and it's done. Mm. So this is a uh, judels, like, you know, from the zucchini and then chicken. So chicken uh, is made in the air fryer and the uh, judels is made on the pan. So you can just make them, make them together. I mean, put them together on the plate later on. You don't have to cook it together. So once uh, chicken is ready in the air fryer, then you can just bring it to the pan or just put it together with the judels and you can eat. So for the judels, what you can do is don't cook, overcook it because it, won't, it wouldn't taste good and it will be very soggy as well. So just try to cook it enough that uh, it looks, I mean, it tastes like uh, noodles, you know? Yeah. Um, let me see. This is another chicken and broccoli. And then this is like a, a white fish. So if you are a white fish lover, I love white fish too. So you can simply marinate the white fish. The, so with the white fish, like baramundi kind of fish, um, all those cumin, coriander goes really well. And also some bit of mustard, like, you know, because we love those kind of spices with the fish. So you can just marinate as normal that how we used to do at the time and then put it in the air fryer or even oven if you don't have air fryer, doesn't matter. And you can eat anything you want, like your choice of vegetables. So here you can see like uh, uh, this client is use, I mean, eating uh, lettuce. So lettuce is also fine. And this is one of my um, meal. So as you can see, we, our program do have radish. So if you sometimes radish is really good for your tummy too, like, you know, so you can also make some salads with the radish and one or two cherry tomato and just a tiny bit of onion, as you can see here. And I garnished with some coriander and I squeezed lemon and it's all done. Some paper and some Himalayan salt and salmon is the same way I cooked it in the air fryer. And look at this salad. Who wouldn't love to eat this salad, <laughs> you know? Beautiful. And it covers your vegetable. And this is another one. So um, I shared the recipe to my client. I bought this uh, momo, like dumplings. So you can still make your minced chicken uh, or minced lamb dumpling or even whatever meat you want to eat. And then what you do is don't use oil while you are uh, making the, uh, you know, the, uh, the fillers. So what you can do is just 
use everything like you can garnish with coriander you can garnish with um, chopped ginger garlic and you know uh, and then just uh, make your wrap with the cabbage so what you can do with the cabbage leaves is just uh, dip it in the warm water or a little bit um, hotter than warm and it will get a bit soft so that uh, warm water would will help to soften the cabbage leaf and once it's soft you can wrap it around and then you can steam it and for the sauce, um, I think this is a tomato sauce, I guess. But um, make sure not to eat like this too much tomato because obviously she might uh, did this to make a picture look better, but then don't eat too much of this um, tomato sauce like that. You can make a mint chutney also with that. Yeah, mint chutney will go fine. Or even tamari sauce, like uh, with the dumplings, the uh, sauce, uh, the soy sauce goes really well. Yeah. So you can use tamari sauce as your dumpling sauce. And this is egg and spinach. Look at that, egg and spinach roll. So uh, she just simply made like a omelet of spinach and uh, egg, and then she made a roll up. Oh, yeah. It's a huge piece, yeah, it, because it, it yeah. that uh, because must be from a step table. one. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, but so, what I'm saying is, oh, okay. She put that vegetable. It yes. Look filling. at that. Yeah. It, it expanded the volume yeah. of the egg as well. Yeah. And there is one last one. So this is all time favorite. I didn't make I didn't make this one, but I have seen this picture from one of the customers, like the weight loss mentees. So this yeah. is real, this looks so yummy. And then you can always try, if you are vegetarian, you can go for this, like there is sprouts and a um, bit of tomato and bit of like, I think salads and coriander and looks really yummy. Look at that. This can go for the vegetarian one. Okay, let me see if I have some vegetarian. Give me one second. If you have any questions uh, while I'm just trying to get some vegetarian, uh, please ask us. Any questions at all? You guys are good. Anything? Uh, yeah, uh, there are a few questions. Right? Just, just okay. check the question. Um, Graham, for your good of explain. Okay, the cucumber raita. Do you want to just explain the cucumber raita recipe, uh, baby? Cucumber raita? Yeah. You mean like how to make it or what? Yeah, how to make it? it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So just as normal yogurt, you can use the natural yogurt and then you can either uh, use the crusher or you can just chop the uh, cucumber and then just mix and it putting together. radish is a good idea also, like how you did your salad. Yeah. 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 So just uh, use the crusher and then uh, for the cucumber and then mix it with the yogurt and you can add a bit of mint as well for the flavor. Um, depending on whether you love mint, because I know some people doesn't love the smell of mint, but then if you love it, you can add that one. It's really simple and don't add too much of Himalayan salt because the raita can get very salty. So just if you want to have a bit of flavor of salt, just tiny bit will do. It doesn't need that much of the recipe. It's really simple, just yogurt and cucumber. And if you want, you can add some uh, paper, just a bit of paper. Yeah. All right, so uh, my cucumber salad is uh, raita, it's just yogurt, uh, and it takes me five minutes, less than five minutes. Cut cucumber, put it in yogurt, some cumin powder, salt, mm -hmm. a bit of chili flake, coriander leaf, that's it, and it tastes very nice. Mm -hmm. Simple and just like few minutes you can make it. How to make cauliflower rice? Cauliflower rice basically means shredded cauliflower, that's it. So if you have the shredder at home, just shred your cauliflower, that's all you need to do. Uh, or in coals and everywhere, they do sell a uh, shredded one in pack also. So you can get those. Uh, can I take split green moong dal instead of, no, you need to take the moong sprouted one for lunch, not the split one. Go for the sprouted one. There is a reason why sprouting is really very uh, beneficial for us. So just because you're in this grocery list, you've got only 50 gram. Soak it and put it in a cloth or something and keep it somewhere warm. So it will sprout on its own. How yeah. to make cauliflower rice? Betty, do you have any recipe? Yes, we can uh, share a recipe. I'll put a recipe for cauliflower rice. Yeah, we'll rice. put some recipes there today. Yes, we'll put that in the group today. 
uh, how many varieties of vegetable we can use for one meal? You can use these two. Preferable these two. one. You quite like those beans. Preferable one, one vegetable uh, per meal. One protein, one vegetable per meal, if possible, please. Yeah. Vijay, After I 30 days, you will have plenty of opportunity to add yeah, yeah. two, I three. I see some uh, member eating dosa for breakfast. Is that acceptable? All right, preferable not because it's a bit too heavy in the morning to have those kind of things. This is not South Indian meals where we have dosa, chutney and sambar <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast. I would love that. <laughs> so let's stick to our basic uh, standard uh, uh, breakfast option that we just explained earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. That will be best. So uh, the dosa, those heavy things all, keep it to lunch. Mm -hmm. Keep it for lunch. Okay, I'll just quickly uh, go for the, you know, the curry kind of things. Yes. So yes. if you are vegetarian, you might have few options of uh, lentils, like, you know, as you can see, like black eyed, black eyed peas, I mean, uh, beans, and you will also have like uh, chana and you will have some kidney beans. So the same way you can just, you know, make it in the pressure cooker, like that's what we use. Uh, you can soak the beans and then uh, always measure your beans after soaking it. And then the, for the flavors, as you can see here, I think everyone can guess like, uh, it, it, I think it, this recipe might have used some cumin, some uh, coriander, some ginger garlic, and then just cook it together and the, in the pressure cooker. Yeah, and yeah. the same way you can cook your chana or even kidney beans. Um, so that's how you make your curry if you are eating. And with the curry, if you would feel like, I mean, eating some rice with it, you can always go with the cauliflower rice. So cauliflower. what you can do with the cauliflower rice is uh, you can get either frozen. Um, I think mostly it's frozen or you can also make your own cauliflower rice from the natural, like, you know, the raw cauliflower. You can always uh, shred the cauliflower and then make it as a rice and measure it. If you are if you are getting frozen, make sure you get your frozen cauliflower rice without cheese because you can also get with the cheese. Sometimes you wouldn't know. So just uh, have a proper just look. It's confusing. I don't know where she's located. Well, all right. And then the the uh, the the like this week's grocery, you don't have beans and everything. So mm -hmm. the recipe that Bedi explained, you can even do that with the kala chana or the moon sprout that mm -hmm. you've got for this uh, this Absolutely. week. Absolutely. So the the same recipe will go very well with those two for mm -hmm. this uh, week. And uh, you know how you sorry, Bija, you, no, you no, go have ahead, seen that five spices in the spice list. So yes. what you could do is put that five spice in the pot, like either in the press cooker or, or, or the <laughs> pot, whatever you're using, and make sure it's brown and then you don't need oil to make it brown. So it's gold, like once it's brown or golden, and then you can cook your vegetable like, you know, and then make it as a curry. All you don't have is just oil. Otherwise, you have everything in there. Yeah, and with the well. cauliflower rice, uh, you can uh, what what you can do is you can either steam it if you like it steamed, or you can just throw it on the pan and then cook it for a bit, maybe five five minutes to ten minutes is enough. You don't even need longer time to cook for cauliflower rice. Yeah, that's very right. Easy, very easy to do. Um, yeah. And then white chana is allowed, but if you're if you're following the challenge, then we have not included white chana in your grocery. So we want you guys to follow the uh, grocery list. Why? Because it will help us to keep track of how you're eating, monitor your progress and keep everything under control. All right. So that's the purpose of this challenge. We try to coordinate everything for you guys. All right. But if you want to take Chana, it's not a no in the list. It is available in the list, but try to do it on stage two, not stage one. Okay. And this one? I just wanted to show this picture so it can really motivate each and every one of us. So this one was prepared by a male client, like male mentees. And then he used, he used to prepare for a whole week, like five days at least. And you can always get the container like this with the partisan and you can prepare your meal for like four to five days or two to three days. And that will really help you to stay on the track, you know? So you don't have to worry about what to cook or what to prepare. If you have already in the freeze, you can just warm it up, heat it up and then eat it. Yes, so sure. that way you can be more successful in the program too. He, he will do good with light and easy preparations. It looks exactly <laughs> like that. I know, isn't it? Look at him. Yeah, he must be a chef. Oh, he isn't. He isn't? <laughs> no. All right. Okay. No, all right. Is there no, any no. questions? Yeah, there's one more question here. So how mm -hmm. to make celery pickle? 
very simple celery pickle or you can even use a uh, radish or you can use um, cucumber uh, some people even make with cabbage all right uh, all you need to do is just cut them put it in a bottle pour some uh, uh, vinegar and then a bit of chili flakes some people put uh, coriander seeds all right a bit of lemon if you want it a bit more uh, sourish and then a bit water put it in a jar and keep it aside that's all you need to do and then that will uh, make that uh, vegetable pickled all right and this is something you can either use it with your meals or you can snack on it so if you're using a celery celery has very low calorie uh, low very very low so if you're hungry in between the programs or whatsoever you need something to munch on just make a, a celery pickles or whatsoever and keep munching on it it will not affect your program in in a huge way it will in fact it will not affect it will actually give more fiber for your body all right uh, I just wanted to, I, um, I was thinking of mentioning these recipes and especially because 99.9% .9 I have Nepalese, um, you know, um, friends who are doing the program. So they love like choila kind of recipe or even like, you know, goat sekwa. Yeah. <laughs> so how we can make those recipes is like, um, so for choila, what you can do is you can put the chicken in the air fryer, marinate, and then put it in the air fryer. And once it's ready, take it out, chop it. And you can garnish with other uh, things like, you know, the corianders uh, and then uh, salads and bit of chopped um, ginger and garlic or even a tiny bit of onion and squeeze the lemon and it's done. It's ready. Your choila is ready. And then you can have- What is a choila? Yeah, just <laughs> what I explained. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's it's like one of- chicken, Like shredded chicken salad? Can it's I not- say? Uh, Yeah, it's shredded, but it's not like uh, too shredded um yeah i will cook you one day if i meet you then okay so it's kind yeah. of like something regular like you know recipe in our nepalese uh, food and the other one is like goat sake or how you can eat your goat sake while in the program is like so marinate your goat meat uh, try to have some soft tender meat uh, like a lean meat without bones and then uh, once you marinate with your choice of uh, spices put it in the air fryer and you can see it looks so yummy in the air fryer once it's ready like all golden brown and take it out and squeeze some lemon and eat it with your vegetable yeah it's very easy, easy. Uh, can we take paneer every day? So if you if you you there is a reason why you've got a different different balance in your food protein especially uh, that your body do require that. So do not just stick to paneer every day. Uh, you need other things like soy, like tofu is there, paneer is there, halloumi is there, uh, kalachana is there, uh, mung is there. So this week we are giving you the five different types of protein. So you try to eat those. Try to make sure you've got all those uh, varieties. All right. Any other questions? Anything else, Vedi, you want to add it? Because, um, if no, I'm good recipes, because yeah, we should not make of... it long because they wouldn't watch the video. Yeah, I, exactly what yeah. I was thinking because I thought then it would be a long video. Even and... last time on, it's one hour. So maybe let's wrap it up. Yeah. So one question. So I'm John, so John, yeah. How many varieties of vegetable we can use? We prefer one vegetable, one protein in all your meals. Uh, for now, just stick to this because we want to uh, keep you guys on the right path towards mono eating. All right, try to take one vegetable, one protein for now. Mm -hmm. um, any other question, guys? Uh, Vijaya? Yep. Um, where the, bunny here. Um, there was a, like uh, in the first step one, it was saying chicken mince. So I'll have to go for the chicken mince or I can go for the chicken. You can go for chicken also. So are you referring to um, our meal, our grocery list, is it? Yes, which one you forwarded to me? Yes. Oh, so yeah. the grocery list that we gave you has chicken means. So we wanted you guys to make patties out of it. So okay. uh, you can use buy the chicken means or if you don't want to use means, you can buy uh, chicken Thai fillet or breast meat. Okay. Uh, and then you just same gram, same quantity. I just minced it, marinate it, and you do the same thing. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it can be whichever meat you want. If you don't want meat, then go for the normal one. All right, thanks. And uh, like if I'm having paneer in the lunch and I can have halloumi like for dinner? Yes, you can. Yeah. 
Thank you can you. have that. See, some people, they, they tend to feel it's more uh, comfortable to just cook one meal. Like they work on a daytime. So night they will come and do the cooking for dinner. So what they usually do is when what they cook at night, let's say they're doing palak paneer. They, what they cook, they make it two portions. The next day lunch, uh, they, they bring it to work. The one portion and one day eat last dinner. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah? so it makes it easy for you. You don't need to, uh, then you don't need to worry about your lunch for next day. All right, so let's wrap up for today. We will have frequent sessions like this to just come and help you guys up. Uh, Wednesday is a session where we will start you guys on stage two. So because Thursday is your stage two today, so Wednesday we will have one more session uh, to explain about stage two before you jump into stage two on, on Thursday. Anything else, Bedi? No, that's all. All right. Okay, no sausages, no sausages, sausages, I mean like chicken sausages. No. I have been asked many, many times. No sausages, okay. processed meat, no. No. No processed meat whatsoever. We try to stick to fresh things as much as possible. Uh, don't. And uh, one thing you can take is frozen, frozen fruits you can take. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some people, they prefer the, the frozen blueberries, frozen uh, strawberries. They are actually cheaper than buying the fresh one. That's not a problem. You can go for that. Frozen vegetable also is fine. No issues. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all not an issue. Um, and you know, the secret of nutrition, uh, uh, the frozen fruits or frozen vegetables has more nutrition than the tinned food. So don't ever go to tinned fruits or vegetables or anything. Always go to rather frozen if you can't have fresh ones. Yeah, frozen is fine. Fresh is fine, but don't not the canned the ones. Other than if you're going for the tuna, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we prefer you to go for uh, fresh tuna, fresh fish. But if you're taking the canned tuna, brine one, not the oil one. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, you. guys. Uh, uh, sorry, do you have yes, one I have one last question. I've got shape as well. So can I just, after getting up, uh, like uh, after having the drink, the mixture of aloe vera and thing, and afterwards, can I take that one, like before breakfast? So shape. before breakfast is preferable if you can take shape before, but okay. uh, shape has no restriction. See, okay. like certain, like, like how goop you need to take empty stomach, yep. uh, burn you need to take after meal, all right? So this all has restriction, but shape has no restriction. So, but preferable you take first thing in the morning. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Thank you. All right. Can I use ginger and garlic ready-made? No, don't use the ready-made one, Urvi, because that has oil. So what you do, blend ginger garlic. You just, today you just buy some ginger garlic, blend it together. You know that ice cube tray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice cube tray and put it in the fridge. Okay, awesome. And Thank then you. Whenever you're cooking, take one cube and you put it in non-stick pan. You've got fresh ginger garlic. Okay. And the shape is before goop or after goop? You can do before goop also. That's not a problem. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's no, that's no like I said, shape has no restriction. Yeah, what yeah. I usually do is as soon as I wake up and come to the kitchen, I just take my shape and then I'll take my goop in the meantime. Like, you know, I don't rust for the goop. So we know your secret for that glowing skin of yours, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah, I take she, shape. She, yeah, baby does uh, TikTok and the number of times she drinks uh, shape, I think she's taking <laughs> more than 15 a day. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. And my liquid and myself. I didn't receive balance drop in my supply. Yeah, so balance drop is something de uh, depending on the package. You've got the basic package that has balance drop. You've got the uh, gut health package that instead of balance drop, you've added probiotic. Okay, so whichever okay. you have, you uh, you base that supplement guide based on the package that you've taken. Okay, awesome. That's All fine. Right? So it's not compulsory. Balance drop it's is not, not compulsory. compulsory. So if you're taking probiotic, it's fine to not have balance drop. Okay, awesome. Balance Thank drop you. is actually a, a concentration of uh, cinnamon. So if you don't have, if you have balance drop, then go for take balance drop. It helps with your craving. But if you don't have balance drop, add cinnamon to your cooking. Have a bit cinnamon powder into your tea, cinnamon stick okay. in your tea, uh, peppermint tea. All this helps with your cravings. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys, let's end today's session. Let's not drag this too long. Uh, we'll try to have 30 minute, 30 minute session in between. So you guys, anytime you have questions or whatsoever, you all can jump in. All right. So let's uh, thank you very much. I'll just thank end. you.